So Sears got another reprieve from liquidation. Uh, the company accepted a revised bid from Eddie Lampert, who is the company's largest shareholder and chairman. So it's basically another lifeline. Um, it's not a done deal, um, but it just gives it another lifeline. Now, this is not official. It's not like, oh, Sears is going to be saved. We don't know. The next date that we'll be looking at is January 14th. That's when there's going to be an auction. And his bid will be part of it, and it'll be lumped with all these other bids from liquidators. Sears could very well shut down for good. We don't know all the details of this new sweetened bid, but one of the this one of the changes is that uh, there is going to be 120 million dollars in cash deposited by 4 p.m. tomorrow. As we know, Sears has been struggling for years, um, and even if it does get that lifeline of it's it's whittled down to 425 stores. You know, the big question is, can it compete? Can it compete in a shrunken size? Can it compete with Amazon and Walmart? That's a lot of people say, no, it can't. As of the bankruptcy, Sears had under or just under 700 stores. That was Sears stores and Kmart stores. So it's affecting Sears and Kmart, you know. So Kmart was generally on the like in the strip centers, right, or in in cities. But Sears was the iconic brand, was once the iconic brand in malls. And so it is going to have a rippling effect on malls.